Hi everyone, it's Ms. Olson, and today I'm going to show you how to get your mask form started and how to start the cones um, to create form beneath your eyes. So remember that last time we were here, we created a painted paper, tissue paper like Eric Carle would. Um, and then we also are going to have our plan in front of us today because we did decide on an animal and color scheme already. So this is the form for our face. Um, and then we will have cones as well to create some dimension. Um, on our face as well. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a template, which looks like this, from the center of the table and share them. You're gonna lay it down on your paper from last week, and you're simply going to trace it. Now this template is a little smaller than our big paper, and we're gonna save the scraps from our paper for another day. So we're just going to trace all the way around the outside edge first. Once you have traced that, you're going to then do this line down here and a line at the bottom. And then you can cut all the way around this piece. You're going to cut all the way around. Actually, just raise your hands when you think you're ready to cut and I'll give you a scissor. Raise your hands when you think you're ready to cut, and I'll bring you a scissor. So we're cutting around the main shape here. Now, when you finish cutting, you're going to keep your scraps to the side for another day. We'll all share our scraps, just like Eric Carl collects his scraps and uses them later. You're going to cut on this line and this line. And once all your cuts have been made, then we can make a form out of it. So you can raise your hand and we're gonna have, I'm gonna come around and help you to staple this together. Like this. I'll make a couple staples in your work. I will ask you on your input on how you want it to be stapled if needed. And then once it's stapled, then we have our mask form. So you can determine which side's the top and which is the bottom. But then we're gonna go to the front of the room and grab some squares, which we will turn into cones. So there's many different colors. You can look back to your plan, but we're not, we don't have to stick to cool or warm colors or neutral the whole time. That was mainly for our painting day. So I'm going to take a square, my friends, and I'm going to turn this square first into a circle and then into a cone. So to turn it into more of a circle, I'm going to cut the corners off of it. Cut, cut. Let's try to put the scraps in the bin, the trash bin for the end of class that we cut off. You can cut right into a bin. After you cut the corners off, like a circle, don't cut too much. Notice that I put two together so that I can have two eyes and I don't have to do it twice, I just do it once. And then I'm gonna cut to the center point from the outside edge and then fold it into a cone. Now everything we glue in this project, we can hold for 30 seconds to get to stay. So now I have two cones. I'm gonna do just a dot, not a lot. We do need a lot of glue for this project but we need to use it sparingly and appropriately um, when we glue things so that we can um, have enough for the whole year and everybody. So just a dot, not a lot, hold for 30 seconds. You can count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Now, in order to glue something down, we can give it what I call a foot. I can fold the edge of it up. I can put a little dot underneath of it, and then I can glue it on where I think my eyes need to go. So I'm just gonna glue it on to where my eyes go. Later, we'll add our layers up for our eyes, but that's one of my eyes, and I can start doing my other one. Now, if it hits the end of class and you haven't glued or finished your eyes yet, anything that we're not done yet, um, you can place inside. So these would be two of my eye forms. If I'm not finished at the end, I'll just put it inside for next time. 
Make sure you write your name and your class code on the back of your mask because it might have either gotten cut off or it might not be there at all. So name and class code written on the back. Um, your class code is one, your teacher's name or initial, and your table color. All right, have a great art class, and I'll see you next time.